All right, all right, all right. Good evening to all my WOC students and all the students who are watching me for the first time. Hello, how are you all doing? All right, welcome back to the channel, students. This is your Vani ma'am back again with one more topic or one more chapter. That's nothing but chemical kinetics. Yes, you heard it right. So till now for your board examinations, Vani ma'am has sent her handwritten notes of chapter. Hello, alkanes, hello, arenes. She has sent for aldehydes. She has sent for your uh, means. She has sent notes for your next important chapter, electrochemistry. She has sent notes for your chemical kinetics now. She is going to continue her journey with alcohols, DNF block, biomolecules also. Yes, all the 10 chapters notes, handwritten notes I'll be sending students. Now, it is the turn for chemical kinetics. Yes, let's start the video. All these notes are kept in the playlist. You can download the video and note the notes. Let's start. So chemical kinetics, this is the index of the chapter. Let me remind you, I have done line by line NCRT of the particular chapter. All the complete NCRT for grade 12, almost 1.7k videos are there for your study. Till now, from 2017, Vani ma'am has been promising 99, 99 marks in chemistry. Huh? Okay, their students have been sharing that to me. The many, all these years, the journey is continuing. So, Vani ma'am is always there with you. Nothing to worry. Any doubt, feel free to ask me. Okay, right. Let's start. So, chemical kinetics. This is the index of the chapter. Introduction, rate of the reaction and factors which are important for a theoretical question. From there, you need to study the concept of order and molecularity, integrated rate equations of zero order, first pseudo first order and first order. Then half-life. Let's start. So first of all, I started with the concept called rate of the reaction. All right, students, let me zoom. Now, rate of the reaction, you very well know. That is nothing but the velocity of the reaction. First, I have given the definition. Then I have given the formula. Then I have given how it is. What is rate denoted by change in concentration? DC by DT. Yes, what are what is DC? How much is the change? Here I have mentioned it. What's with a small interval? When you're using a small interval, you're going to use it. In this form, dc by dt. So, I have given the rate of the reaction. Complete concept is there in this page. From there, I am taking from the rate of the reaction. I have gradually taken one example for rate of the reaction by showing decomposition of N2O5. So, how how uh, how is the reaction given? How you will write it for products and how it is denoted for reactants? I have mentioned it here. Along with the units, I have solved it and I have shown you in detail. Once you learn the concept, apply it in the numerical, it is easy for you to score the marks. Now, from the rate of the reaction, I have gone into a concept called average rate of reaction. So, how is average rate of the reaction denoted RAV? What is the formula? What is the graphical representation? How it is? And I have mentioned it clearly. Now, let us go into after average rate of the reaction. Then I have gone to instantaneous rate of the reaction. Representation is shown here. Graphical representation is here. What is the slope? Everything is mentioned in this. Yes, I request you to watch the one shot videos for clear understanding. Now, taking the concept, I have solved a numerical for R instantaneous from the graph and I got an answer along with units. Rate of the reaction is done. Instantaneous rate of the reaction is done. Now, rate of appearance and rate of disappearance is what we have to study. So, first of all, which is disappearing, reactant is disappearing, right? That's why we have written as minus. What is appearing, products are appearing. That's why we have written as plus. So, how do we represent rate of appearance and disappearance? I have explained it here. Done. From here, then we are going to go into a numerical, which explains the rate of appearance and rate of disappearance with the uh, symbol of minus and plus here. All right. So, I have taken a general reaction and it's shown it here. From there, we gradually go into a concept, like taking that particular concept of appearance and disappearance. I have taken one example. Suppose in the exam, if this is given, how do you write is what I have shown it to you, along with the coefficients. Done. Further, I have taken one more numerical with rate of disappearance. That is question number three. This is the question and this is how we are going to solve the question. I have given completely and the understanding of the question. Along with the units, the complete solution is given along with the units. That's done. From there, gradually, I'm going into one more reaction <clears throat> that is taking ammonia uh, along with oxygen. 
how much is the rate of appearance and what is the rate of formation complete concept of appearance and disappearance i have solved it here so let us see the solution students this is how you are going to do gradually step by step this is my handwritten notes so it will be a little bit you know I, in a in I, I, when i write you know i'll be writing alphabets too huge all right so from there gradually let us go into the solution solving part of that so rate of appearance is done rate of disappearance is done further i have taken average rate concept in this numerical very famous question students very important questions so rate of average rate of the reaction is what i have given so based on the average rate of the reaction one numerical i have solved average rate along with the units and everything this is done right average rate of the reaction from there let us go into further concept once it is solved let us go into factors so average rate i understood instantaneous rate i understood rate of appearance i understood rate of disappearance i have understood now i am going to concept of factors so what are the factors compulsory two marks question so concentration what happens pressure how is it affecting gradually from there temperature how is it affecting nature of reactants how is it affecting surface area of the reactants how is it affecting so complete factors i have listed out what is a mode suppose if temperature is increasing rate of the reaction increases correct so if it has been found that rate of the reaction is either doubled or tripled for every 10 degree rise in temperature that concept also i have explained it let's see how how are we going to study it further i'm gradually going into the concept of catalyst now after that i've given new rate law rate equation rate expression so all the all the things put together very important thing what is rate law what is rate equation rate expression let's start so basically i have started explaining in the form i have taken a general reaction with stoichiometric coefficients and how do you represent rate equation have you seen students i have kept it in a box how did i represent in the same way you can write what is meant by rate equation definition so this is the definition here this is the representation done after rate equation then rate expression what is rate expression how what is the definition what are the units final change in the units and everything i have explained in this page after that gradually from there i have taken you into a concept called differences between rate rate of the reaction and rate constant all the differences i have listed out rate of the reaction here and after that i have ended out whether it is dependent on the initial concentration or independent after the factors i have taken into a concept called order of the reaction so different orders which which i have explained taking one example two three four examples here so order of the reaction some the sum the total like sum of the coefficients right so this is given here or the powers raised powers of the con powers to which concentration terms are raised so the addition of m plus n so i have explained the order of the reaction in this case from order of the reaction gradually i have taken different examples here in the form of a tabular column so this tabular column the experimental rate equation which is given for this uh, reaction how much is the order so 1.5 0 1 and 2 all the orders i have explained in this so from there after order of the reaction i have gone into a concept called molecularity of the reaction so how many varieties of molecularities are there what is the definition of molecularity how many are there unimolecular by try try everything i have explained here after molecularity and the examples then i have taken the differences between molecularity and order of the reaction both are mentioned here please go through the table you can exactly write as it is because i've been part of the board correction i know how people correct the paper yes after the differences between molecularity and order of the reaction five points are covered in this I have gradually gone into a concept called zero order. Yes, you have for your exam zero order, pseudo first order and first order. So zero order, see students, I started with the definition. I have shown you how rate of the reaction is not dependent upon the initial concentration. Finally, taking integrating the equation, I have derived the whole thing. Please watch one shot videos for this. So finally, I did the graphical representation. I did half life period of zero order. And what are the different graphs which they give you also I have mentioned here. Done? Right. Now let us start. Let us start. After that units and characteristics. This is very important. So finally whenever you learn a derivation. What are the units? What are the examples? And what are the characteristics is what you need to learn. This is done. Now after the zero order we are going to come into a concept called first order. 
same thing follows definition rate equation integration substituting the value and from there we are going into the concept called time so we are going to represent the whole equation finally calculating the half life period time and gradually taking the anti log of that and finally getting the rate equation so if this is this is your first page this is your first page then after that this is your second page and after that this is your third page done yes after the first order reaction graphical representation is very important so i have given the graphical representation and uh, calculated the slope also after the graphical representation next important thing characteristics along with examples is very important characteristics along with examples what matters so i have given the list here after that gradually i have taken into concept of units units and half life period as you have seen units of the first life first order reaction is mentioned here half life for the first order reaction also is mentioned here gradually from there we go into concept of summary what did i do after giving me giving you the rate equation zero order and first order both the things i have clubbed together in the form of a table this table is very important reason order is mentioned reaction type is mentioned differential rate equation is mentioned initial rate means rate of the reaction depends upon what is mentioned half life is mentioned units are mentioned and the graph the graphical representation so all in one table right yes after zero order and first order now i'm going to go into a concept called pseudo first order reaction yes in which water is one of the reactants rules so the definition is given the reaction is given and everything in detail is mentioned here for the pseudo first order reaction from the pseudo first order reaction gradually i go into first order gas phase equation so here i have taken all the gaseous reactants and gaseous products which is mentioned here from there first order reaction i am going to go further into the derivation part which is explained here after that derivation part is done now we are going to go finishing of finding the rate constant value also that is for the gas order so zero order is done pseudo first order is done pseudo first order is done and only also for the gas equation also is done now after that now i started taking the particular concept into graphical because for a question if it is given what is the order but see basically in chemical kinetics they'll ask you what is the order what is the slope what are the units and everything so i have taken that and have solved the numerical please go through it after that from there one more sum is what i have taken there they have asked what is the order here what do they ask how much like in the first order reaction is again how long will it take for so and so to get reduced to 3 grams means all the ways they ask whether they ask you the slope they'll ask you the order they'll ask you what are the units either they will ask you how much is reduced how much is left out right how much time did it take see this is the quantity from 5 to 3 grams it is getting reduced what is the time taken okay now one next one more sum this is one more possibility they'll directly ask you the rate constant value this is also very important sums done from there i have taken some more numericals yes some more numerical students this is also done gradually giving you the concept and from there from these numericals i have taken you further more numericals some more important numericals i have solved taking the ratio this is very very important question so practice it you will be getting this question for the exam gradually from there further solving one more sum i have taken here and gradually we have gone to one more numerical very important related to the same concept please go through the video any doubt please let me know please ask me i'll clear your doubt in the comment section and as i said i have completed one short videos so you can go through the one short videos for the detailed explanation this is one more possibility question for gaseous reactants and how do we solve the question i have done it step by step gradually from there i have gone into concept of rate constant for the first order reaction this is also done one more concept gradually i have solved the numerical this is one more numerical variety take it please note the sum students and this is one more variety second case one more variety of the sum gradually one more important question calculating the half life period i have done it here because maximum they are asking these questions only after the half life period i have taken into one more concept 
they they ask you calculate the concentration of a so different possibilities of calculating the concentration order slope uh, rate constant value how much time is re was required to reduce so all these are ba basic combinations the prop the solutions for all these numericals are kept given here gradually one more sum is here very important sum calculating t half calculating your concentration yes r by r not this is ratio this is one more variety of numerical yes students i have completed the sum yes this is how all the combination all the possibilities of the chemical kinetics is covered here very very important for your boards so please go through the video i request you to please share the video to all your friends thank you so much for watching students once again i request you to please please watch one shot videos of chemical kinetics all the best signing off i'll be coming back again with next chapter very important very soon goodbye thank you so much